Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has accused the U.S. and Israel of being behind the nationwide protests sparked by the death of Masa Amini. She died last month after being arrested by Iran's morality police for allegedly violating the country's conservative dress code. Activists say the government's crackdown on demonstrators has seen at least 52 people die. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khomeini has broken silence on the protests that have rocked the Islamic country. He calls the death of Mahsa Amini tragic, but says the demonstrations are not an organic grassroots movement. And he is fully backing the security forces. Who did the planning for the protests? I say it is clear that the planning was done by America the fake Zionist regime and their followers. Despite the violent crackdown, the protests are not dying down. There are reports of students taking to the streets in various cities. This video shows security forces dispersing a crowd outside a university in Tehran. The demonstrations have also spread to many parts of the world, like here in Istanbul, Turkey, with its big community of exiled Iranians. We will not forgive and we will not forget. I want the whole world to hear from us here. We do not want an Islamic government. We do not want morality police. Death to Khamenei. We couldn't come back to Iran because they arrest us. So we came here to show our power because, you know, we don't want Islamic Republic of Iran. We just want freedom, Iran. In Iran, the protesters continue to challenge the hardline government, with many demanding an end of the more than four decades long Islamic rule. Siba Shakib is an Iranian filmmaker, writer, and political activist who joins us from Italy. We have a little bit of feedback on the line, sorry. Uh, protesters are still on the streets despite scores of deaths. From where are they getting that resilience? It's an amazing thing, and nobody can say this is the reason why this time things are going the way they are going. The, these people are very young people, most of them, as you know, majority of population in Iran is very young, 25 And um, they know only the time under the regime Thank of you. the mullah. They don't know what it's like when the re first revolution Place, the last revolution took place, and they go with nothing in their hands, no weapon, no protection, no helmet, nothing, and they stand in front of these extremely well-trained and extremely well-equipped people, and they lose their lives for their beliefs, and it's, it's an amazing thing. These people are endangering their own lives going to the streets. What would your advice be to those calling for change in Iran? Sorry, I'm so tired. It's, it, nobody listens to any advice. That's the problem. And they have been lying all the way through from the first day they came to power until today. The government in Iran, the current government in Iran, has built the power on lies and on killing people. If you see, I'm getting pictures from Iran where the the, the employee, the government people, the, the Basij, dressed in normal clothes, dressed in those black armed uh, clothes, they go and shoot the people in the head. People are lying on the floor, they shoot, shoot them in the head, they turn around as if nothing has happened. Of course, they should stop the violence, they should stop killing people, they should stop imprisoning people, and they should listen to people. People say it clearly all over the country since so many decades, they don't want a religious government. Uh, the government's finally reacted and Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei has been quite outspoken on the protests. What, what do you make of what he's had to say? Again, 
Same thing since so many decades. This regime, the regime before, they always blame it on the foreign countries. They blame it on America. They blame it on outside sources. They, they try to make us believe that they believe it is not the people's wish, which, it's a, which is a double problem, which is, which is people are dying. And at the same time, the government is saying, oh, but this is not your opinion. This is the opinion that comes from outside. You are being agitated to do what you do and kill yourself. I mean, they don't take people even seriously in their protest. We'll have to leave it there, Siva Shakib. Thank you very much for joining us here on DW, an Iranian filmmaker, writer and political activist. Thank you very much.